Hi everyone, today, um, so today I thought we would go ahead and talk about what kind of food I give my hamsters because literally a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, a lot, I mean, getting a ton of you guys asking me to show you like what my hamsters diet is and what I feed them. I actually did do a hamster diet video but I did it within like a vlog. I think it was one of the vlogs where I went with my sister to Petco I think. I actually don't understand why I put that into a vlog because it's probably going to be really really difficult for a lot of you guys to find. So here I am. This is me. Okay, enough of that. <sighs> but seriously, make a video of itself going talk going talking. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. <sighs> Because I put that in a vlog for some reason um, and nobody can find it. I'm gonna make a video fully dedicated to what I feed my hamster. So let's get right into it. Okay. So before I get into actually showing you what I feed them, I'm gonna quickly talk about um, how much protein, fat, and fiber a hamster ideally should have. A lot that goes into um, the perfect diet for a hamster. And if you want to get any more like detailed information on exactly like percentages and things like that, I'm going to send you to the Hamster Hideout forum. I am gonna have it linked down below. There's so many wonderful people on that forum, and they're gonna that can help you out at any time and yeah just like a humongous list of all the information about hamster diets and foods that you are going to need to know so that will be like down because I don't have any baby hamsters and they're all over the six month mark. Ideally, you wanna look for a protein that is around 17 to 19%. You can easily check out this information on the back of the food that you purchase. Um, it's gonna tell you under the guaranteed analysis part of the of the uh, the bag. Like I said, protein can vary um, on depending on how old your hamster is and things like that. So only check out the Hamster Hideout Forum for all of that information. The fat percentages, you want it to be around 4 to 7 percent. The fiber levels around 6 to 15 percent. So anywhere in between 6 and 15 for fiber. Crying about? These aren't treats. What are you crying about? You want a treat? No one wants to treat you guys. Hold on. Okay. I promise. Here. Here you go, is that good? So their main seed mix um, of food that I use is the Sunburst Higgins Gourmet Blend. Let me show you guys, hold on. I put it in my little container right here from Lewis. So thank you, Lewis, for the little container. Okay, so as you, I hope you guys can see this, but as you can see, um, there is a huge amount of variety in here. At, um, we got a bunch of little seeds as well. Whoa, what just happened? It just fell off. Little seeds as well. Now these right here, we're gonna talk about in a minute. They do not come with this um, mix that I'm using. These, This is added protein. I will talk about that in just a second. I think that this is a really good food. Just just because um, there's not as many fillers in here. Like a tiny, tiny amount of fillers that are in here, like especially like these things. These are probably like just basically made out of um, like hay. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but there's not many fillers in here and there's a huge variety. Also, what I really like about it, there's corn flakes in here instead of like full corn pieces, really small amount. So it's not like completely filled with um, corn and peas either. It's just basically what it looks like, what the bag looks like. I actually had a, a couple of people mention to me um, why I'm feeding this because there's banana in it and there's actually no banana in um, this food. So if anyone was wondering or was told that there's banana in here, there's no banana in here at all. So the next thing, now this Sunburst Higgins bag, um, the crude protein is 15%, crude fat is 7 and crude fiber is 9.5. You need to mix it with some kind of pellet or um, block. And the one that I like to use is the Missouri Rat and Mouse Blocks. It's 23% protein in this and it is just amazing my actual my, my actual hamsters 
My hamsters actually really, really like to eat these. There are different kinds of pellets or blocks that you can get, like, for example, oxbow, and we actually had a little discussion about this last night. Those oxbow pellets that you could add as protein. I used to use those, but I really noticed that my hamsters never even touched them. They hated those things so much, and it was always left in the bowl. And that kind of worried me because I was worried they were not gonna get the protein that they needed, so I did have to switch that out at some point surprise um, these the hamsters are absolutely enjoying and it's always gone from their dish also I probably should mention that I do feed my Syrian hamsters this and my dwarf hamsters is actually good for any type of hamster and even though the mix does contain some like sugar it has like um, some pineapple in it and like you know peas oh my gosh can't talk peas and corn I think there's a little bit of coconut in it a coconut, a coconut, a coconut, a coconut. And honestly, there's only like a tiny amount of those sugary components. The actual bag itself. I'm really not like worried um, if Patch getting diabetes or anything like that. That is basically like their main, you know, seed mix diet. Um, what I do with the pellets is I just put, balance it out by just mixing it half and half and then I'll give it like a good shake. Example, I'm using this container, so I'll just like fill it up halfway with the seed mix and then the rest of the half with um, the blocks and then I'll just give it a good mix. A few things that I do like to add. I like to add some yummies for them in their diet as well. There's one item that I like to mix in with the food. And that is, eh, that is flax seeds. Now, the reason why I like to use flax seeds is because it is full of nutrients, full of it. Omega-3s in there, yes. Honestly, it's actually really, really good for um, their brains, their heart, and their skin. This actually really, really helps keep their skin and their fur coat nice and shiny and smooth and healthy, so. So I definitely always like to um, add flax seeds. I usually will do, especially if it's like this small, I did have a bigger container before where I stored their food. Because this container is a little bit small, um, I just probably put like one tablespoon of flax seeds in this mix and just give it a nice big stir. What you also can do is just like take like a pinch of it and just toss it in their food dish. Also an option that is something I used to do too, but I'm just come to the point I'm always using this and I just want to make sure they're getting it. Sometimes I used to forget like, putting a pinch of this into their dish. That's why I just mix it up in their food like right away so I don't forget it because it's super healthy for them. What I like to do is mealworms. I like to give them like just a pinch, a couple of mealworms uh, every time I refill their dish. I really enjoyed it. And Mochi loves mealworms. Like that is like my first hamster that actually adores mealworms. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and fill up Mochi's dish since I have to refill it anyway. <laughs> um, and usually what I do when her food dish is is empty or close to empty is I'll just take two tablespoons of her food and that is basically it that is what I give her and then I went ahead and toss in just a pinch of some mealworms as well for her I really wish she was awake right now so she could come and say hi to you guys I really hope I'm not forgetting anything but I think that is basically what I feed my hamsters at the moment. Please remember that there are other great hamster foods out there. Maybe we can like do a video on some good hamster foods um, in the future or something. At least ones that I have personally had tried out and that I really, really like. But that is just what I am feeding them. And it's just something that has been working out really, really great. And the hamsters are enjoying it and eating everything. So um, they are getting everything that they need. So I'm very happy about that. So again, if you would like to to check out some different kinds of foods or whatnot um, and which ones are good. I will leave the hamster hideout for them down below the link down below and you guys can go and check that out and get a little bit more information on certain things and there's like a ton of details and stuff on record on recording on regarding percentages and proteins and all that good stuff okay, so I really really hope that this video helped you guys I know that so many of you guys um, have been requesting for me to do this with video 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 a long time and um yeah so i hope you guys enjoy i really do hope that it was somewhat helpful as well yeah, if you did enjoy this video i really hope you guys will give us um a thumbs up on it if you want to and if you would like to stay up to date um with my hamsters and my pets in general I really really hope that you'll come and join our little ham fam love you guys so much and i'll talk to you very very soon bye